Dear all, first of all, I would like to thank you for watching this video. I would like to introduce my channel. My channel comprises of different playlists such as high voltage engineering, control system, then power electronics, training on competitive examination, basic electrical engineering, guidance on project and seminar, and especially sensors and transducers. I request you to go through individual playlists and give me your valuable suggestion. Thereby, I would like to go for improvement. So, kindly go through that. So, in this session, I am going to discuss about one of the important topic that is called tactile sensor. You must have heard about the touch screen in your gadgets. So, tactile sensor, that is one of the example of that touch screen. In your mobile phone and in your laptop, you can able to see the touch screen. Obviously, that is belong to the tactile sensor and also the smartwatch. So, tactile sensor is the major component which is available in your smartwatch. So, let's understand how tactile sensor operate. What are the significance? In case of biomedical engineering also, the contribution of tactile sensor is most valuable. I will take you how to explain the tactile sensor effectively. So, if you watch this session complete, you will be having a broad idea about tactile sensor. Let's go through what is a tactile sensor. First and foremost, let's understand the definition of tactile sensor. What do you mean by tactile sensor? You know, a tactile sensor is a device that measures information arising from the physical interaction with its environment. For example, you can able to see this is a biomedical sensor. Uh, it sends the body pressure, temperature, etc. Okay, and also you can able to see 2133 RF. This is one of the most important temperature sensor. That is also basically a tactile sensor. And also we can able to say that tactile sensors are used in different areas such as robotics, then computer hardware and security systems. And also some places there will be biometric and uh, some IT companies they are going to implement just like only for entry only for the particular concerned person of that uh, company organization. Other than uh, that particular person, it's not possible to enter. So as soon as you are getting entered, you are supposed to apply your thumb or thumb impression. So that is also the one of the application of uh, the tactile sensor. A common application of tactile sensor is a screen in your device and mobile phone and computing application, which I already referred, already mentioned. A different type of tactile sensors are available such as piezo resistive type tactile sensor, piezo electric type, then capacitive and electroresistive sensors. These kind of capacitive and electroresistive sensors are applicable in your smartphone. Then force torque sensor, dynamic sensor, thermal sensors, etc. So this is about the tactile sensor. Let me continue the discussion. Let us talk about the working of tactile sensor. Before explaining the working, I wanted to introduce the construction part. The tactile sensor comprises of polyvinyl iodine fluoride. There is a sandwich layer of polyvinyl iodine fluoride with a soft film. You can able to see. So the soft film is a sensitive material and it's just like a sandwich arrangement. So PVF2 and PVF2 which are arranged in top and bottom layer. In between, you can able to see the soft film. It is too much sensitive to the vibrations and also it is connected to the uh, physical bodies, especially it may be connected to human body or environment, physical environment. You are going to apply the AC voltage over the AC voltage. With respect to the applications of AC voltage, definitely there are certain vibrations. Okay, that vibrations will be measured over there because it's a soft filling. Uh, depends on the application of voltage and the physical interaction with uh, en the environment or a human body. Definitely the vibration will be taken place for the soft filling. With respect to the vibration and the magnitude of voltage, uh, the output voltage is getting varied. Okay, with respect to the physical interaction, you are able to get the variable output voltage. So this is the way how tactile sensor operate. So depends on the interaction, the output voltage variation will be taken place. Okay, so this I would like to uh, explain in a brief manner. So here you can able to see. So the sandwich arrangement you have to remember and uh, you have to mention about the soft film material. That's very important. And uh, your physical interaction that will be connected to the 
a short film and uh, your external voltage that you are going to apply at the one layer of the PVF2. So with respect to the physical interaction, the vibration of the short film takes place with respect to that output voltage is also getting varied. You are going to measure the physical interaction with respect to variation in output voltage. So this is the way how tactile sensor operate. You can able to observe there are different varieties of tactile sensor available in the market nowadays. For example, force torque sensor, then you can able to see a dynamic sensor, then thermal sensor. Okay, so this thermal sensor that is operating based on the Peltier effect. Okay, you can able to measure the temperature of a human body. Likewise, you can able to measure accurately rather than thermometer. If I talk about the, dyna uh, the dynamic uh, sensor, it is mainly used in automobile application, especially to measure the acceleration. Okay, so in accelerometer, you can able to use this kind of dynamic sensor. And, uh, and also, uh, it is having major role in the one of the biomedical application like uh, uh, Pacinian corpuscles in human bodies. Okay, we are going to check the measurement and also we can able to talk about force or torque sensor. Here these sensors are used in combination with a tactile array to give the information for force control. Okay, so this is about the different varieties of tactile sensor. Okay, you can able to note down the different varieties of tactile sensors which are available in the market. So in this session I have discussed about what is the meaning of tactile sensor, why tactile sensors are required. What are the major applications of tactile sensor and how does a tactile sensor operate? Afterwards, I have discussed a variety of tactile sensors which are available in the market. Finally, thank you very much for watching this video.